GBPN is the top-down analysis. If you don't know what top-down analysis means, it means when you start your analysis from the monthly time frame, you go to weekly time frame, you go to daily, and then you go to four-hour time frame. So I want to show you how down top-down analysis is powerful. Also, when you want to trade or to, to, to enter a trade, also for beginners, I want to show you how top-down analysis is powerful. So we will start with um, uh, GBP and SD on the monthly. I told you, and I keep repeating that you need three things when you're doing top-down analysis. So we write three things. Number one, market structure. Number two, price action. So we need price action. Number three, we need what? Forex pattern. You see, we need three, these three things at least to guide us on the top-down analysis. So if you look at this chart, what market structure do we have? What is the market structure? Comment down below, let me know. What do you think GBP and SD market structure is? Is it an uptrend? Is it a downtrend? Is it a ranging? For me, I'm thinking, uh, have you have you commented? Make sure you comment. For me, I'm thinking it's more of ranging, more of, more of ranging, why? Because uh, you can see the market is on this area. We have a uh, resistance not able to break here and then resistance not able to break here and then buyers come here, make from that resistance again. So it is on a channel and then the sellers seems to, not break the laws. So you can say it's a channel, but it's on an uptrend because the lower the, the, the sellers are creating high highs and high lows. Uh, but it is like it is not able to break a certain ceiling. So the first thing we need to understand is that when you have a, a market structure, you just want to know who is in control. So ranging channel mostly we don't know at this juncture who is in control. Is it buyers? It is is it sellers? So let's take um, market uh, price action. When you look at price action, we'll go to last, my, the previous monthly candle. So I want you to comment down below. What, what do you think this candle is? Do you know your candles, by the way, you guys? Do you want me to teach you candles? What candle do you think it is? So if you have said bearish engulf, you're right. And bearish engulf is one of the candles that shows momentum. If the market is showing momentum, and this is bearish momentum, it means sellers have started to come in and at that moment they're in control. So yes, market structure is ranging. We don't know, we don't understand what is happening, but the price action has, has uh, told us the way it has given us, this is the way. So price action, it is a sell. The last thing is market uh, is the Forex pattern. Let me squeeze the chart. What Forex pattern do you think we have? What Forex pattern do you think we have? So for us, we have, I think triple top, you see that? That's a triple top. So the market has attempted multiple times. So it has attempted one. It has attempted twice. And this is the third time. That's why we are saying triple top. So how to trade triple top is the same as, as the, the double top. But the problem is, as much as that ceiling, that resistance is attempted to be broke, to be broken, you might enter sell and the buyers come in and now eventually they do what? They break. So the only con on a triple top, it's because the resistance has at least been attempted thrice, making that resistance a bit weak. So yes, you see the triple top. You won't be like 100%, oh, this is a double top. It will react like a double top, no. So you already know a double top, a triple top, make sure the market sell and you have a bearish end up. So from the monthly perspective, what are you looking for? We are looking for sell entries because the market is a sell. So let's go to weekly time frame. So monthly, are you have you understood why we are looking for sell and why sell is being supported? So when I come to sell, I have this market. The market was making high highs and high lows. So uh, I had my low there, my high. The market made my high, my high low, and then high high, high low, high high, high low, and this high. But the problem is, this high low has been broken, and it has created a low low. And once a low low has to start to be created, either we are looking for a reversal, 
or sellers are attempting to do something. So according to weekly time frame, we have seen a very major support zone being broken. Can you see that a major support zone getting broken? So if you notice GBP and SD on the weekly time frame, we have that support area being broken. And this means a lot. Why? Because it means sellers are powerful. So I want to zoom to you so that you can see for sure it has broken. You have to zoom. Sometimes the break, can you see? It has broke. So according to according to to weekly, it has broken. Let's see. So this is Oanda. So what I've come to realize, Oanda and um, Oanda and FXM gives different results. So we will compare the two so that we don't want to say it has broken and maybe it has not. Can you see? Do you think that support has been broken using Oanda broker? I don't think so. It has not broke. Can you see it has not broke? So let's and let's see um GBP or NSD Oanda. So this is GBP NSD or FXCM. So I'm checking between Oanda and FXCM, and you can see FXCM has broke or under has not and then we can check let's check gbp and sd paper stone paper stone so when we check gbp and sd paper stone can you see paper stone has broke so i believe two brokers have broke so we are taking it as the market has broke that support. So sellers, sellers, the, the market, the market is supporting the sellers. I wonder if you look carefully, that candle didn't break. And, and I don't know why that broker has a problem. I think that broker has just a problem. Why? Some candles, they are not as accurate as you might think. So on weekly time frame, we have that break. And you know, the break can either be a false break or it can be actual break. So this one can be a retracement or a reversal. So because we don't know what is happening, let's go to the daily time frame. So on the daily time frame, you can see we have the break. This is the break that you are trying to see on the weekly. And the market came and, and made a double. And then the market made a double, a double bottom. So this double bottom, the market is at the neckline. What we don't know is that what will really happen at the neckline. Will it break that neckline? The question is, will it break that neckline? And if it breaks that neckline, it might go this distance. And notice, lesson 20, never forget, five things that happen when neckline is broken. So you have to figure out what do you think will happen. So don't say, oh, it has broke. It is giving you, it can do five things that I taught you on lesson 20. So once neckline breaks, it can complete the double bottom that is one it can activate a double top that is the second thing it can range ranging means it has not broke it can break and and create a small double bottom so you have to know it can break and first go and retest half before it goes up so it's you to understand or to 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 practice and know different uh, scenarios so we understand that the market can come to that half if the half is broken. So if I go to, if I go to, uh, how, if I go to four hour, there's nothing much I'm checking because I have to come on the daily because this double bottom is on four is on the daily. So you let's check if this the same double bottom is on four hour because there's a person who is trading this double bottom on four hour. So if it is on four hour, we will know. So is it on four hour? Yes. Has they broken neckline? Yes. And that's why I say, if you now enter earlier, how will you tell if the neckline on daily will be broken? How will you even tell? So that's why I say, if a double bottom is only on four, is on four and daily, trade it on daily. Don't go to four hour. Don't go to four hour. So what, what if the market buys up to our guaranteed take profit? 
we will now go to four because here there's nothing that can make this market to go down. We'll go to four hour to check what can make this market go down because it has reached our take profit. There's an area here. We have two zones. We have this small green candle that can act, be activated a double top. And then we have this small candle that we can get a double top. So we have all these zones that these zones, they are not on the daily. And that's why I have chose to, to analyze for you. So all these three zones, three zones that the market can come to activate and form a possible double top, they are not available on the daily. So it's you to be careful to wait until what will be activated. Because we see from higher time frame, the reason why we are not even hoping on the buy, because higher time frame is not supporting us to buy. So we are not interested with this buy. So what you need to understand is that when I come to daily, there is nothing, we can't see anything. So it's either we wait on forward to get a possible double top and then we trade it. So it's either we are hoping that this market will activate and I'll be here. So at GBP NSD, I've given you an assignment. Make sure once it, it activates, either you text me or you do something or you comment on this video and then say it has activated the, the possible double tops that we are, we are hoping it will activate. Yeah, so that is the analysis from top-down analysis all the way to four hour. That's what you do. So I have given you assignment. You have to check. Will it which double bottom double top will be activated? Is it number one, two, or three? And then when it is activated, we will use CSB current support break. And then we get this trade up to the half. So thank you so much, guys. Love you. Hope you are learning. We are imagine you in lesson 22, and I have a hundred videos for you. Will you finish the hundred videos or will you help me by the time you are hundred videos? We have hit. 100k subscribers make sure you subscribe to this channel and comment and like the video bye bye love you